Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <gasps> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported <sighs> kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Purport it's a big word. Brain hurt. Shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. I don't trust you. Alice. There you go, honey. Hartman. I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Yeah, yeah. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. There's no way I'm crazy, right? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Alright. Well, I just started the new uh, chapter or whatever, but I'm going to... Take a real quick break and just walk around real- Oh my fucking god, you serious? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. No, I want to get up and walk around. I see around. you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now... Why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay. I'm going to take a real quick break. Oops, I just hit my microphone. I'm going to take a real... Uh, God, I'm going to take a real quick break. I'm going to take a real quick break. Walk around for a bit. Maybe grab something to eat. I'm not sure. I am kind of hungry. Not going to lie. And I will be right back with uh, Alan Wake in a second for you guys. So, see you then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more Alan Wake. Uh, I went and got myself something to eat, stretch my legs. I feel good. I might need to get up to use the bathroom in a bit, though, but I'm not sure. The body does what does. But yeah, I now have, like, an audience of two with me. And by that, I mean two of my dogs are behind me, like, hovering over me. I can't get them to leave me alone, so. And I don't want them making a bunch of noise in the background. Who's Emerson? There's a TV in here. Night Springs. It's a book? The fuck is this? Shadow people? Flashlights? Okay, but whoever Emerson is, they're having the same fucking visions as I am, or are they just writing shit that I'm that I'm doing? What the fuck? This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. All right, Magilla Gorilla. Staring me down. Anderson. Anderson. I'm checking it out. You can't stop me. Fuck. You locked these? Mm, I didn't get to check out the other rooms. Bear statue. That was in the woods. 
right? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. Alice is not dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you and your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation. All right, well then show me fucking what's his face now. You from the too painful truth. Show me the dog. Show me the fucking park ranger. Show me uh, what's his name, Stucky. To resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Keep talking, Doc. I'm listening. If I find one fucking manuscript around here. One. One single manuscript. You're full of shit. Look, there's a sundial. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, in memory of a dear friend and a poet. <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring. Isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. You're damn right there's a storm coming. I recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. Because you're full it's of shit. For you you're part of it. This is friend. all part of it. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. The only recovery of a journey That's that I want to start is the recovery of my foot up your ass. What the fuck? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. I don't think I would ever be. I don't think I would ever be impressed by that. Scary, scary, scary. Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson, 
Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No video games is trash? All right, I can't wait to shoot you. Hello, good sir. Who the hell are you, and why hasn't he introduced me? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. Oh, you did? I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah. A bunch of paintings of He's me? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. I do think you're getting better. But he has a bunch of pictures uh, of me. I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Oh, that is not a storm. That's the darkness calling. Crazy, you're crazy. Hi, nurse. Patient's room. Got a nice little bear rug in here. Another thermos. There's a fucking TV in here. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hmm. Okay. Do a little bit of investigation on myself, you know? Staff only. God damn. <coughs> All right. Welcome to Cauldron Lodge, uh, Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and families to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and therapy. Why say it like that? Therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients. Need for privacy is personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specially tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademark, works best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I'm concerned, Doc. I'm concerned that you're a monster. You're a shadow monster. Rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Mm. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? So you remember that I that I did that jukebox? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, oh, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> what the fuck? Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Gave you a rash? Was it on your ass? Was clearing up. Or Tommy Zane's writing an assistant. According to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like... Moonbeams. <laughs> like moonbeams. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was? What were they? Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. <laughs> She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, mm. so tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. I want to walk away, but you also I want to stay. Have a party. All right, we good? We good? I'm just. I, I'm just... Bob Balder threw the app through the window. Hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Damn, dude. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Bad scene. Right, let me get the hell out of here. Tired, man. 
so tired. Yeah, like all their fucking energy just got like sapped from them. And is that fucking TV on? Okay. Axe the lamp lady. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be. All right. <laughs> I, I'm going to be here forever. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. I'm looking for the lamp lady, quote unquote. Just have a nice little go around, right? The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. No way, you say? Mm. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. All right. Oh, I'm kind. Of, ooh, I am so tempted to scan that, <laughs> but we've been wasting enough time as is. Listen to these fucking losers. There's no way to mess with this. No. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. See, Emerson's room was fucking free for me to waltz around in. Right? Let me see if I can check the other rooms. Okay. This is the painter's room. What has he been looking at? He's been looking outside the window. Alright. And then it's locked. I thought something was sitting in that chair. <laughs> Alright. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Ah, shit. Fast, aren't they? <laughs> What happened? The old guys it's knocked them nice. the fuck out? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. 
If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office job. from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come out and face the music first. It's time to pay the piper. Damn, dude. Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses first. Since you're so comfortable. <laughs> He's like, come on out here and kick my ass. I dare you. Listen, I'm not saying they should have knocked out the lady, but the on the damn, dude. Said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Hmm, I see. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <coughs> You? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. Okay. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but... Just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shreds! Seriously! Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I am famous! I represent a celebrity! They'll be looking for me! Oh, that's how you wanna play it? Is that how you wanna play it? Really? Okay, that's how we'll play it! It'll be hardball! All the way! You're seriously, man? I'm willing to forget the whole thing if you let me out now. Just let me out! Hey! You think I can't hear you out there? I hear you just fine. You what, is this how you get your kicks, Hartman? I knew you were weird. You got that weird guy look. <laughs> if you're one of those nurses, I'll... I want to go in there and stop him, him but... Okay? <coughs> Do you have any idea how much I make as an agent of a best-selling writer? A lot. Uh, is a personal check good? It's a personal check good. Barry, shut the hell up. Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry, Barry. But, I mean, we've been waiting for a bit. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. 
Ah, well. We're in the dark. Shot. Really, Wake? Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Parker, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Ah, fuck. <laughs> he did have a smile on his face. <laughs> He said, I bet I had a smile on my face. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Damn, dude. Had to find a way out. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Press the wrong button. Fuck's sake. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, damn it. Bookshelves out of my way. Ah, uh, fucking Christ. Kidding me? Did the fucking generator not work? Or do I gotta keep revving it up? through bitches Hartman knew he was no creator he had no ambitions on that front and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here damaged in ways that were hard to describe or worse it was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Oh, so he fucking ran a mental hospital so he can secretly have them create shit and become a producer. After having them sign like all the papers once they get admitted. What the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Open now? Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me. Coming through. Ah, fuck.
Bye, bitch. I'm coming, Barry. Don't worry. You better shine that light strong. Weren't you supposed to get a car? But the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the Ram it through, motherfucker. There. You serious? Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Oh what the fuck? <laughs> what? Ah shit. Ah fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Let my battery recharge. Well, let me just get the fuck out of here. The hell you think I'm trying to do? I gotta go through a fucking maze, are you kidding me? Bitch. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Felt like a boss fight, <laughs> he says. Oh, fuck! I know they're coming for me, dude. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. How the fuck you hit me, motherfucker? Are you serious? How the hell do I get out of here? More pages? Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Well, he failed. Now he's dead. Oh no, don't tell me the brothers got tucking over. Not the Anderson brothers. I like those guys. baby Fucking crows, man. 
Burn, bitches. Ah, uh, come back here. Come on. Come on, you're almost done. There you go. Okay. Well, uh... Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm not sure how I'm gonna space this recording out. Because... In the middle of my last recording session, I was... I was fucking... God damn it. <laughs> I was uh, distracted, let's say. And it took me away from the controls for probably like 30 minutes. So there's just like a, a 30 minute recording of like a pause screen. So I... I don't know. Whatever. It's been like a week since I've recorded that or something. Maybe even fucking more. I don't know. <laughs> like... I can never... I can never do anything without someone ruining it. So, let's just hope that I remember how to play, okay? And, ah, oh, I forgot this game. Really? The moment I record right outside my door, someone is just like, I don't know what they're doing. They're taking like a bin or something or some sort of box or something and just making a shit ton of noise. Why? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray now at this point at this point I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray that like none of this sound comes through in the background there's nothing I can do there's nothing I can do I promise you guys there is nothing I can do at this point I've tried everything oh wow it set me back all the fuck the way here okay well at least I know that I killed this guy it's kind of like a boss fight a little bit you gotta pay attention to the crows right where? Oh, fuck. They're behind me? Oh, shit. How do I dodge again? Fuck. That was a flare. I forgot the dodge button. What's the dodge button? Is it square? Fuck. Oh, that's the button. Fuck out of here, crows. Alright, fuck it. Oh, wait. I thought I still had, like, a flare or something. I guess I just wasted my flare, huh? Didn't I? Alright. I have a feeling that I did this better last time. But now I'm getting fucked up by birds. Okay. Alright. Getting back into the swing of things. Uh, oh, coffee. Never figured out what this does. I'm just still picking it up. It's got it's to do something, you know? What is it, like a full heal or something? I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. Let me just take a moment to turn around in my seat and go, What are you doing? My dog just like... <laughs> he just... He just... He just started getting up and running in circles. It's so loud. Alright. Wait, that can't be it. There's gotta be more than that. That's the run button. Alright. I'm truly remembering how to play this game. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt somebody by the end of this day, I swear. Why are you barking? What are you doing? No reason for you to bark. You're doing it just to spite me? Is that it? Nobody in this house wants me to record anything? Come on, guys. What the hell? Nice job. Nice job, guy. Oh, fuck. You were closer than I thought you were. You're just gonna... Uh-huh. Go ahead, swing. Alright, well, you didn't swing, so now I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh, well, give me a moment. How many fucking bullets do you take? Oh, there's better, there better be something around this corner, I swear. 
Oh. Nothing but my disappointment. It's immeasurable. Ugh. Damn it. Alright, oh, my dog is fucking growling. What are you growling for? I'm just gonna throw the fucking pillow over your head and hope. Sleep. Shut up. Everybody's making all types of fucking noises in this house. For no goddamn reason. I just wanna record a fucking video game. the hell is in here? Oh, shotgun. <coughs> Manuscript. Hell yeah. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Who the fuck's Mott? Oh, wait, is Mott that, like, I don't want to say hillbilly, but, like, that guy that, that was like, no, oh, Mr. Wake, I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you the flashlight or some dumb shit. That guy, that guy who's like, please don't kill me. I was only doing what he told me to. Hi. Ow! I pressed the button. It did nothing. That time I didn't press the button, and it did exactly nothing. <laughs> because I didn't press it. This dodge is like... Not the most reliable kind. Alright, we're just gonna ignore. Ignore the fact that I pressed that button. Alright. That's okay! fuck away from me. You know what? I had a shotgun. I could've, I could've solved the problem with that. How many bullets do I have in this? I have six. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> keep it that way for like two seconds. Hey, look at that. It's a flare. Oh, what the f- Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna throw it at me. Oh. Enemies aren't coming, right? Alright, just let me through. So, it's been a while since I recorded this, right? And now, I'm not even sure if, like, the audio is at the right level or not. I think it is. It should be. It should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Famous last words. And then we get a fucking Nightmare Before Christmas situation again. Where I got to the end of that playthrough, and I'm like, yep, I just fucked up the audio. Well, not gonna fix that. It's too much work. Too much of a headache. And the way I record these does not make it friendly to fix the audio. It's either redo it or fucking or screw it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to hope that this is good. I hear you. Ooh. I know I couldn't do any damage to you, but still. Give me a second. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I thought it was reloaded already. Fuck. I felt like a big man. I thought I saw like a monster over there or something. What the hell? Just turned to like Natalia. I think that's her name from like Resident Evil Revelations. Just walking around, pointing your fingers. A monster! Barry, get him! Or like Moira. Where she's like, uh-uh, I don't use guns because of my tragic past. 
And it's like, you're literally being attacked by fucking monsters. I don't know what to tell you. You better start shooting, bitch. <laughs> it's like, I'm getting tired of your bullshit. No, -uh, no. Even if my life depended on it, I would never use a gun. I'm like, god damn it. Like, me and myself, keep them away from me, right? But still, if my life depended on it, I'm popping the fuck off. What are you, what are you talking about? What? Getting chased by the fucking Oogie Boogie Man? What the hell? Fuck my morals. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what was happening over there. I'm trying to keep me alive. This seems like a trap. Are all these chairs gonna get up and start like attacking me? No? Okay. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Swallowed blood and barely tasted it. Oh man, last time I had a nosebleed. Long, long time ago. Well, actually, no, never mind. It was a long, long time ago between the last time I had a nosebleed and like the most recent. Wow, that made no sense. That literally made no sense. The last time in the most recent isn't the last time in the most recent. Great, I'm an author. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, but the last time I had a nosebleed. Between that time and the time before that was a very long time. And then, you know, I got a nosebleed. I'm like, everybody get the fuck out my way. And they're like, what's going on? I'm like, my nose is bleeding. And they're like, you never get nosebleeds. I'm like, I know. It sucks. Fuck out my way. Stop stop stating the obvious. Ow! You're alive! I am alive. I mean, if you didn't think I was alive, you wouldn't be waiting for me, right? Maybe. Barry, you done fucked up. Better fucking find out. I'm about to get attacked. Barry, the monsters! They're gonna get me! Wait, are those the... Okay, I thought those were like the brothers. Ah, oh, shit. Barry, I'm about to solve problems. So you better hurry the fuck up. Oh, where did you come from? No, shit! No! I'm an author! <laughs> really? I didn't dodge that? Really? Come on! I'm trying not to scream into the microphone, so if I'm screaming into the microphone, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! Yeah, Barry, hurry up. I'm pressing the fucking dodge button. You wanna, you wanna work? Damn it! You know what? Fuck this. Fuck you guys. I'm an author. I'm smarter than you. Why are you guys trying to attack Barry? You can't attack him. Wait, did he say he found a quarter? I'm sorry. What the fuck? Why can't I? I'm shooting the damn gun. Work. Oh my fucking god. I pressed the button to shoot the gun, and Wake just said no. And I'm like, what? Is there a bullet in it? And he's like, yes. And it's like, oh, okay, then what's the, what's the fucking problem? Oh, that Kroosh is in there. He's like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go get my buddies now. Yeah, Barry, hurry up. Now that, I, now that my life's in danger, my ability to run is, like, stifled. Trying to group you guys up. Okay. Chaka, 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 chaka. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Really? My flashlight just don't want to work now? Alright. Get me out the fucking corner, man. 
damn it. I promise you guys, this is way harder than it looks. I don't know. I honestly, I honestly, first of all, it's been a while since I played. Second of all, I honestly don't even remember the timing of the dodge anymore. If the dodge even had a good timing, because I'll press the button and they'll go, nuh-uh, you didn't dodge that. And I'll be like, what? What are you talking about? I obviously did. I mean, I pressed the button. Shouldn't it make me like a little bit of me? Where the fuck? Really? Oh, but that one worked. Oh, but that one didn't. Come on, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Pull out the fucking gun. Holy shit. Like, really wake. You like depending on it. Maybe you want to pull out the gun a little bit fast. Then open the fucking gate. If you found it already. Really? That didn't... Uh, was that not good enough? Open the gate, Barry. Barry, open the fucking gate. <laughs> open the damn gate. Barry? Oh, God. You're now leaving right Why do you have a cut out of me in the back of your car? We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. You know what? Makes sense. I'm done with darkness. Said said the Kingdom Hearts. I'm sorry. I think I gotta turn over in my chair, look at my dog, and go, What are you doing? I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far found like a bag of my clothes, crazy, right? You know, like I got a duffel bag and some of my clothes are in there. You just start like digging this. in it. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. I can There's fix her. Special about this place, the lake. It, it said everyone who saw Harley Quinn ever. Created here. I can fix her. Come true, but there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! No! Barry, my bro! Now that he has joined our party officially, he must be weakened. Ow. Oh, you're alive, Barry. Do you got a flashlight on you?